Good morning. Several hundred people already here. More continue to show up. Uh, 75,000 across the country. This is the largest healthcare worker strike in U.S. history. Over the workers! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see everybody getting very fired up here. At issue here are staff shortages that have left employees feeling overworked and burnt out, as well as higher pay and job protections. Now, this affects sport support staff like emergency department technicians, medical assistants, receptionists, and housekeepers. This does not include doctors and most nurses. Now, a lot of Kaiser patients obviously concerned about how a three-day strike is going to impact their care. Kaiser officials say they have a plan in place to keep hospitals and emergency rooms running throughout the strike. But some non-urgent appointments and procedures, those might have to be rescheduled, but they say that patients will be contacted in advance. Now, the workers' contract expired on Saturday, and they've been at the bargaining table around the clock since then. Again, the workers are asking for higher wages, retiree medical plans, and various job protections. But Kaiser says it has offered across-the-board wage increases, with a minimum wage starting at $21 an hour. We're told that the two sides have been making progress, but 6 o'clock was the deadline. Obviously, 6 o'clock has come in fact. And so here we are now on strike here at Kaiser Permanente and locations all across California and across the country. Here on Sunset Boulevard, I want to bring in Lakeisha. Lakeisha, you're a receptionist in the emergency department, yes. Chris, secretary. Yes. Uh, well, you know, you, striking is never the first option, but you guys are here. Why? We're here because we're here for our patients. We've seen the, the Kaiser... Um, crisis, you know, for the short staffing. We've been suffering with that for over two years. You know, we've gotten past the pandemic and now we're like ready to get back to normal and we need help. You know, our patients are waiting um, an astronomical um, amount of time in our waiting rooms and we, we're just tired of seeing that. So what are you asking for? What, what, what is the best possible outcome of this strike? Well, definitely, we want them to address the staffing. Um, you know, like you mentioned, that our um, contract has ended. So, of course, the wages are an important factor as well. You know, we just want what is, you know, that catches up with inflation. You know, we, we don't want, we're not trying to over ask. We just want what we need, what we've been needing, what Americans need, you know, in this, in this country with this inflation issue. Lakeisha, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And again, this is officially underway. That six o'clock deadline came and passed. This strike is now going three days, uh, planning to end on Saturday at 6 a.m. Of course, a developing story. One will continue to follow throughout the day. But as you can see, again, very big turnout here at the location on Sunset Boulevard in East Hollywood. We'll bring you updates throughout the morning. That's it for now. Reporting live from Chelsea Edwards, I'll send it back to you guys.